All right, we're here at my outdoor worm bin, and a couple things I want to check on was one, the temperature. We had temperature fluctuations of 96 degrees in the middle to 75 degrees on the outside last time when I was heating up the worm bin due to it being winter right now. Um, I also wanted to check on the chickpeas that we put in here to see how they're doing. I've never put beans or chickpeas in, so we're gonna check on those. And then finally, I wanna try a new recyclable, compostable type of thing that I haven't put in here before. And that's like a fruit tray you might see at the grocery store. And on it, it said recyclable and compostable. So we're gonna check that out and put in the food in that way. All right, so let's check on the temperature. So right now outside, it says it is about 78 degrees, 77 degrees. So let's put this in. And right in the middle, same thing, 77, 76 degrees, so a little bit cooler than outside. And then we'll come out here to the edge, and we've got 75 degrees. So it's been seven days since we were in here last, and I was taking the temperature during the week, and it was reading 83 degrees. And that makes sense because we had mixed up the mass of feeding and rice that we'd gotten in here. So let's check that out, and let's check for those chickpeas. I think I put them in the middle. And if you stayed to the end of the last video, you'll remember that my wife said I needed more bedding. So we put a bunch of cardboard, shredded cardboard on the top. So let's just look in here and kind of scrape the surface and see if we see any of those chickpeas. Now I got the chickpeas and I cooked them just like I normally would, soaked them and cooked them. So they're just like you would put on a salad. I did not freeze them, but we'll just keep digging and digging, I think. Nope, that's not it. Running into a banana peel right here. There's just fantastic amounts of worms throughout. I really spread that feeding out, so it was all over the place. Let's keep digging. We may not have any in here. Digging. Wow, look at look at all these worms. This bin never disappoints. And there's all kinds of tiny food scraps throughout it. The moisture is unbelievable, just absolutely perfect. These um, grow bags, fabric grow bags, really do a great job of maintaining the moisture. I know we put it in the middle here, so I'm just going to keep digging down to see if we see any chickpeas or garbanzo beans, as I think they're also referred to. But yeah, the temperature has absolutely cooled down. It was just seven days ago that it was 96 degrees in the middle, which is way hot. Luckily, this bin is really big. I don't know if you can kind of tell. It's pretty big compared to my other bins. So it has a lot of room to cool down towards the edges for the worms. So I'm going to say that they like chickpeas because I'm not finding that anywhere. <laughs> That's great news. Just one more thing that I can put in here. Beans, something I hadn't thought of. Here is a mango seed that they have totally stripped of any kind of fibers. And I'm just going to turn over the bin kind of from left to right here and they are just enjoying. This is one of the things about putting a massive feeding in and the next time you come in spreading it out, they really go all over the bin and you can easily dissipate any kind of temperature problems that you've had in it. So I'll just go Down, from kind of corner to corner here and we'll see if there's any pockets of heat, any pockets of worms and just kind of aerate this out. It's really deep. I mean, this bin is as deep as my hand. It's probably coming up to right here on my wrist. So when I do put a massive feeding in the bottom or in the top, it's really throughout here, the heat stays in this fiery little ball and then outside the worms just have a place to go. So they're pretty smart. They're not just gonna go into a feeding zone and get toasty. They'll just stay right where they like it and keep themselves warm in the winter. And as I go to the edges and down below, kind of what's closer to the ground here in this bin, I'm feeling it much cooler, much cooler, I think, than 70 degrees that I had seen earlier. So we've gone around all the edges. So now I'm just gonna scoop the bottom a little bit. Yeah, look at that. I mean, this is, look at this. It's not a worm ball, but you know, just everywhere you go, worms. So let's set up a feeding zone and I'm gonna make it kind of deep because I want to show you what I got what I have in mind here this little thing had pears in it at the grocery store and inside you probably can't see but it says recyclable compostable so I'm gonna set this right here in the middle and I'm gonna put all the food scraps that we're gonna feed them in here and then we'll co cover it up and we'll see 
how many worms come in here if they're all kind of clustered in here they can make it through the holes do they eat through it do they come through the top we'll kind of see what's going on there but first i'm going to add a little bit of bedding here and then we'll put this right there like that and then here's what i had in mind for the feeding so i'll stuff as much of this in as i can and i'm not going to really put any of the bedding in here or any of this casting material i'm just going to put this so that it's all food so anything that we see in here is going to be something that the worms brought now i will put some bedding on top and some of the castings on top so i guess they may get down there from gravity but they're not going to be purposefully put in there and i have a lot of slow and fast food in here the apples are certainly slow food and any of these greens or tomatoes even the uh especially the strawberries those are super fast foods but we'll get all of this in here and then we'll kind of top it off with some of these banana peels right there and that's going to be their feeding so i'm pretty excited to see how they do with this and how many worms we have in here will this create a huge worm ball that'll be neat to see and then we'll put some coffee inside and then of course we'll do our grit which is just pulverized eggshells aids in their digestion and then i'm also just going to kind of cover it with some more bedding you can see that top at the very beginning had a lot of cardboard shreds on it but as we dug through it was really mostly casting so we're going to do another harvest in here next time i come and feed let's go ahead and cover it up and if you like this video i appreciate a like i've got a couple other bins and they have playlists so if you subscribe you'll hit the bell and get notified of when i do different things with those and i do all kinds of experiments in those so this is going to be a fun little thing to check up on so got this all set and i hope everybody's having a great day and happy vermicomposting everybody take care now